Hey there, this is my TUS 108 Warthog review and this thing does exist. So on screen you can see, you know, the Warthog struggling at life. Just going to preface this review by saying that I did really not enjoy making this review and soon you'll see why. So like the Acteon, the Warthog is in the off-road class but is very limited in what it can actually do. It does have similar add-ons to the Acteon but they're not as well implemented. So starting off with the repairs and refueling. The Warthog can have a maintenance frame bolted on which can hold 500 repair points and two spare wheels. There is an option for a trunk repair supplies on the roof which holds 150 repair points, 60 litres of fuel and two spare wheels. However, due to the maintenance frame encroaching on the roof of the Warthog, you can't use both of these add-ons together. There's an option for a fuel tanker which can carry 600 litres and the fuel tanker can be combined with the trunk repair supplies for a total of 150 repair points, 660 litres of fuel and two spare tyres. So it's a bit of a shame that you can only use the repair trunk supplies with only one of the utility add-ons. On the cargo handling front, this truck can tow large trailers and not the scout trailers and it can have a low saddle, a loading crane and a small sideboard bed. Uh, but all of these are independent from each other. You can have the loading crane and tow a trailer from the rear, but you can't have a sideboard bed and a crane. Nor can you have a low saddle and a crane due to lack of space. So why even have the crane at all? Given that it has the same stability issues as the F750 and the Acteon, so it's definitely a hindrance to have. With a low saddle equipped, uh, you can have you know anything up to a 5 slot cargo trailer, for example, uh, the truck becomes nearly undrivable. Uh, so for some reason the rear suspension has next to no dampening so any weight on there just hunkers down so while you're driving the front wheels will pop off the ground taking away your ability to steer. And if you're spinning your bike tires uh, and one catches I guess some traction it will steer the truck for you unless you've got, well even with a bit of diff lock it will still turn the truck uh, often taking you in the opposite direction to which you want to go. Another issue when using the low saddle with a flatbed trailer is that the flatbed will catch on the cabin, uh, leave, <laughs> yeah, it'll catch on the cabin on the truck, uh, leaving you with very limited turning angles. So reversing is pretty much a no-go, and going forward with most corners is also bad. The Warthog does, in fact, have a 200-litre fuel tank, which is pretty generous given the truck's size. But isn't that the same as the Pacific P512, which is a much, much bigger truck, so that makes lots of sense. All-wheel drive and diff lock are on a toggle, and the all-wheel drive will cost you extra fuel when it's in use. Uh, so when driving along with a tanker or something on board, it does drive pretty quickly. So the speed combined with its low weight kind of lets it sort of skip across the mud with its big, uh, with its big balloon tires when you leave it in auto. Uh, when required in low range, it does have decent economy, though I wouldn't really rely on it to tow anything through the mud. So overall, I'm going to rate this truck 4 out of 10. It does very few redeeming features for me. Uh, I mean, and it's a similar size to the Acteon, but at least the Acteon has an autonomous winch. Uh, you know, but is there really a scenario where I'd use the Warthog? No, absolutely not. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please let me know down below. If you could give the video a little like, as it really helps the channel out and lets me know if these videos are any good. And have a great day.